morning y'all or afternoon or evening or whatever time y'all are watching this my name is spice this is spice camp fish today i want to get some revenge on some topwater fish so we're out here nice and early one of my favorite little ponds i'm gonna see if i can get on a few frogfish i also brought a swim jig and just like a weightless worm or something with me so we'll see if we can get on some to be honest i haven't fished this pond in probably a month or so so I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, the grass could be gone, the grass could be up way higher. I'm not really sure yet. We'll just have to see when we get down to the water. Before we get any further into today's video, I just want to ask you to please do me a favor. If you do enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, it lets me know that you guys like the content. On top of that, if y'all could hit the subscribe button, I would also really appreciate that. It lets me uh, grow my channel, lets more people see these videos as well. But I'm almost down to the water, so I'm gonna get y'all strapped on my chest and we'll get going into today's video. Stay tuned, y'all. Let's see if we can get on some biggins. All right, y'all starting off early this morning. It's right around 6.15. Sun came up uh, 15 minutes ago. I'm gonna try and get on a little early morning top water bite. This whole year I've been struggling to catch a fish on a frog, so see if we can change that this morning. Morning, how are you, sir? Doing well, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Have a good one. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bass. There we go. First frog fish of the year for me. <laughs> hey, he's all right. He's probably about a pound. Not too bad. Do a lot of fishing yourself? No, and I started kayaking and started identifying with the fish. Oh, nice. <laughs> gotcha. Have a good one, sir. <laughs> Let's go choke the frog. <laughs> All right, y'all. First little frog fish of the morning. Nice little one pounder. Nice little guy. I got him good. Right in the meat. I'm actually going to take a picture of this guy for the Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, do me a favor, go head over there and follow me. Get to see some cool catches like this before the video goes down. Man, he was not coming off. <laughs> I hope you guys got a good view of that. I was talking to some guy on the bank when that guy blew up. I wasn't really paying all that much attention, but uh, nice little guy. All right, bud, have a good one. Woo! There he goes. <laughs> Put the cat back on here. I'm gonna film with that for a little bit, but let's freaking go, dude. That's nuts. That didn't take long at all. Oh my God, that was such a good feeling. I really hope you guys got to see that blow up like more than I did. I literally was not even looking at the frog. I was turning around talking to some dude on the bank <laughs> and just saying it more than all, you know, being a nice guy. <laughs> he came up and throttled that little frog. All right, so the little frog I'm using today is uh, a little tiny. You guys have probably seen this one in a million videos, but it's a poppin' perch, AKA the notorious poppin' pickle. If you guys watch Kicking Their Bass TV's videos, you might know it as the poppin' pickle, but it's a Strike King popping perch. Um, I don't know exactly the color, just kind of like some dumb bluegill bait fish imitation. It looks really freaking stupid. I don't know why fish eat it. I don't know why they liked it, but that guy freaking choked it. He thought it was real for sure. So here's just a little bit closer look at that frog that I'm throwing. Again, that's that poppin' perch, AKA the poppin' pickle. Don't know what the color is, but it'll be linked down in the description for y'all. You already know. I'm gonna try and throw up around this little grass area over here for just a minute. And then we're gonna make our way down left. I hear a lot of bluegill popping down that way, so I'm gonna go down there, see what's up. 
So a lot of time you're trying to throw frogs around these like big old covered areas where there's a lot of slop and stuff because they're weedless and they come through that really well. But that last fish I actually caught out here in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. It wasn't a weed out there. I mean, there's probably a weed bed underneath the water, but there's no like matted vegetation on the top like what you're usually looking for when you're throwing a frog. And that's why I picked a poppin' frog this morning. Uh, usually if I'm fishing stuff like this, I will, ooh. Is that me or is that not me? I don't know, that was weird. Anyway, so usually I'll pick a, uh, just a normal like non-poppin' style frog if I'm fishing through this thick stuff. But since I know this place kind of varies with its cover, I guess you could say. Like this wasn't all here last time I was here. But right now I'm trying to cover both the sloppy areas as well as the open areas. So I found that when it's calm like this and they probably would eat a popper, but they're also in the matted vegetation, they probably eat a frog then a popping frog is kind of the best of both worlds. So that's kind of my thought process why I picked a popping frog this morning. The other reason why I like a popping frog over a normal frog is that you can kind of let it sit in place a little bit more and it still does its job. Uh, so with like a non-popping frog, it doesn't really have a lot of disturbance on the water. So you throwing it like up on this matted vegetation or something, like you'll see it because it's got a weight, but if you're out in open water like this and it's not really, you know, blowy or anything, or windy, or there's any kind of chop on the water, usually I'll throw a popping frog just because with a popping frog, you can kind of let it sit there and it'll still kind of attract stuff. It's still like a popper. And uh, here's a good tip for y'all also for just any sort of topwater fishing, but especially popper fishing. Um, the popper is most effective on the paws. I heard Justin Rackley say that years and years ago in a video. And that's really stuck with me, but a popper and a jig or like a Texas rig or something is most effective on the paws. It does most of its work on the paws. So with that being said, when I wanna kinda let it sit there and soak for a little bit, but still do its job, I'll be reaching for a popping frog because it kind of imitates both a popper style action as well as a frog style action. You can fish it through this heavy matted vegetation, but you can also let it sit there and then, you know, pop it real hard and draw in fish from a good distance away. But then it goes back to being subtle. So it's still a frog and it's got the subtlety of a frog. It doesn't have the rattles or anything that like a, a popper usually has in it. But, uh, and it comes through the grass really well, obviously. But, um, you know, then you have that popping aspect of it and it cuts back on its weedlessness a little bit, but I mean, you know, pros kind of outweigh the cons in my opinion. Anyway, that's just kind of why I picked a t popping style top water or a popping style frog, I guess I should say. You can also walk this one pretty good too, which I like. You can kind of do both, either do that non-popping style action or the popping style action, whatever you're feeling. But we're just gonna keep moving. I'm gonna go ahead down this little sketchy ass path over here and we gonna see if we can get on another. All right, what about over there? I have to imagine there's a fish over there on that tree. You guys might be able to see that tree sticking under the water. Well, there's actually uh, like a bunch of other branches and stuff that just kind of extend way out deep or deeper. Spawn doesn't get very deep. <laughs> but I don't know. I just feel like there's got to be a fish over there somewhere.
There's a fish. There's one. Yep. Oh, he came off. <sighs> Dang it. Dang it. Shoot. I knew there was going to be a fish over there. It's like, it looks too good not for there not to be. It's so absurd. I wonder why I came off. I thought the hook pretty good on him. Wow, this looks froggy. Here's some bluegill popping over to my right. Always a good sign when you're looking for a good place to throw a frog. Always listen for those little Rice Krispies. If you hear something that sounds like Rice Krispies after you just poured milk into them, that's the sound of bluegill popping on bugs. Usually, where there's bluegill popping on bugs under mats, there's usually bass under there as well trying to eat said bluegill popping on your mats. Oh, yes. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> there we go. Number two on the frog. I was like first or second cast with it. Ow. I like hooked him through the tongue. Sorry, dog. That was sweet. I hope you guys saw that blow up. It was over to my left a little bit, so not sure if you guys saw it, but that was sick. A little bit better one. Actually, you know what? I got the scale on me. Let me see how much this one weighs. I'm thinking probably about a pound and a quarter. Look at how dark that fish is, too. He's freaking... Hang on. Let me see if I can get some more light on him. You guys can really see. He's freaking dark. He's been living up under this grass for probably his whole life. Zeros. What did I say? A pound and a quarter? 146. You guys see that? Locked in at 146? Maybe? Maybe not? I'm not really sure. But uh, if not, you just have to take my word for it. That's a pound and a half. -er. Look at how freaking dark that fish is. He's nutty. He looks like he's from Florida. What are you doing up here, buddy? Alright, bud. Back in the slop you go. And he gone, just like that, disappeared. Shoot, I've been getting freaking annoyed because these fish keep like, just tasting my worm. Like they'll put it in their mouth and then they'll spit it right back out. But, I mean, shoot. They're gonna eat the frog like that. You already know I'm throwing the frog. I figured we were done with top water. It's a little bit light out. But uh, who knows, maybe I can get along with some frogging all day. Or I say all day, all morning. I have some stuff I gotta do in a little bit. So I'm gonna try and wrap this video up before like 9, 9.30. Actually, let me see what time it is right now. 8.30, okay, so I got like an hour or so. Get maybe one or two more fish. All right, I think that top water bite has officially closed. Thank God. To be honest, I was getting sick of throwing the frog. <laughs> For those of y'all who don't know, I'm not a top water fisherman. I don't enjoy it. I'll throw a whopper plopper or a spook if I really have to, but I'd rather not. In my personal experience, I've found that if they're eating top water, they're usually eating something else better. So. I'll try and get one or two bites on the top water just to see if they're active. But if I don't get a bite within the first 10, 15 minutes of throwing a top water, I'll usually put it down for the rest of the day. If you really gotta, and you really gotta like cover some water or something, again, I'll throw a whopper plopper or a spook. But most of the time, if I'm not throwing one of those two, I'm not throwing top water.
Oh, where are these fish at, yo? <laughs> I feel like I've been out here for, well, I have been out here for hours, actually. But I feel like it's been hours without a bite, which is probably not wrong. Alright y'all, I am going to make one more cast and then I actually have to go, but I'm not letting this video just go out with two fish, three bites. I'm going to get out later once I finish all my stuff and uh, we're going to try and get out a few more. Later. Alright y'all, spot number two, whoa, Jesus. Well, this pond looks like it's down a bit. This pond looks like it's down a lot, actually. All right, hang on. These are going in the bag. But what in the damn hell happened? Holy cow. So if y'all been around this channel for a little bit, you've seen this pond before. The water is usually like here-ish. This is nuts. I haven't seen it like this since the the winter. Wild. Well, it shouldn't make finding these fish that difficult. Oh, there went one right there. It might have been a bluegill down there. Like, sure. I've never seen this pond this low in the summer. It's usually like I'm usually up flipping these reeds. I usually have to stand up there over on those reeds, and now we're, I don't know, whoa, well, I guess I'll just start here, I don't really know what to do, I guess I'll throw a Senko around, I don't really know, I was hoping to come up and flick these reeds, but apparently they're taking all the water out of this pond or something. I don't know. Weird. This pond hasn't been great the entire year. There was a pretty big fish kill this winter. So, I'm sure this probably isn't helping the fish population out much. Well, hopefully there's still a couple in here. Ooh, there's a bite. Got one. There we go. Sweet. Number one. Chill. Awesome. First one on the adrenaline bug. Little feller. But nice nonetheless. Gave me a little bit of confidence today. Hell yeah been tough today y'all got a few bites this morning a couple fish on a frog missed a few more now we're at a different pond as I said before this pond looks like absolute shit but uh, apparently there's still bass in it so if they're hungry and they'll eat then I'm gonna just keep throwing what I'm throwing just got this little exone adrenaline bug black blue fleck this water is actually pretty clear probably could get away with a green pumpkin something but I don't have any on me so we're gonna roll black and blue today I figured this pond was gonna be dirty and hoop but uh, it's actually relatively clear for this body of water I guess it's usually like chocolate milk now we can or I can see almost like a foot and a half down
All right. I'm going to go make a move. Go fish that little grate over there where those people are fishing. See if I can get on maybe one more today. So like I said before, this is going to be like the deeper area, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the deeper side. So hopefully I'll just be able to crawl this uh, little adrenaline bug around and maybe get on another one. There's a bite. No way. That's just what I was talking about. He's got it. Oh. 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 Sorry, bro. What was I saying, y'all? Just need to fish a little bit deeper. Chill out, homie. Chill. A little bit deeper, a little bit. All right. You know what? Full of anger, this one. Nice. Number two on the adrenaline bug. See ya. What did I say though? I just had to fish the deeper side. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I think that's twice today that I've called my shot. Or as I was explaining something, it has actually happened. Oh, pull one of my little pinchers off my adrenaline bug. That was good. Yeah, I really think today's just gonna be one of those slow dragon kind of days we'll see though can we get on another one though now that i've maybe possibly oh man oh that was dumb where did this come from what is this poop i have another fish on oh he dropped it that was weird it felt like i just got bit like as it hit the ground all right all cleaned off good to go Gotta love it. So, like I was saying, it drops off pretty quick over here. I think that fish is just kind of sitting right along the drop off area. So, maybe we'll be able to replicate that pattern a little bit, Ski. Or maybe not. We'll see. Take that as my cue to leave. It's about to start raining. So, uh, I'm gonna skedaddle before I get poured on. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for today's video. It was kind of a struggle out there. Uh, I was hoping we were gonna actually get on them at the first spot, but we ended up just getting those two frogfish. I got a bunch more bites there on that little uh, Game Changer Lures Eliminator, but I don't know what it was. Maybe the plastic is too thick, or maybe it's just too big of a profile, but they just weren't eating it well. And then we went to that other pond, and uh, honestly, I didn't know if we were going to catch anything there, but, but it made me feel good to know that at least the fish in there aren't completely killed off. There's still at least a few in there. That water's still low, and I'm sure that some of the fish didn't make it, but uh, hopefully that population's still going, and I'm glad to see that they're still in there at least kind of feeding. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys like the content. On top of that, if y'all could hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing some more content like this. I do a lot of bank fishing and kayak fishing for largemouth bass. So if you're interested in seeing that kind of content, then please hit that subscribe button. I put up new videos every Monday and Friday, so you'll be able to see some new ones twice a week. All right, y'all, I'm freaking drenched in sweat, so I'm probably gonna go shower and then take a nap because I've been up since way too early this morning. So. But check them and wreck them, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.